Sometimes when you're debugging a script, you need to put in a bunch of just extra information. So here, you can see I'm using the write debug command to display some just some status information. Right, I've created this parameter computer name, and before I actually try to connect to that computer, I just want to sort of verify that it is in fact getting the right name into the right variable and so forth. So the write debug commandlet is pretty cool. If we play with it down here on the command line, you'll notice that it doesn't do anything. Well, and that's because its output is controlled by a built-in variable called debug preference. And the default value for that is silently continue, which effectively suppresses the output of write debug. So how do I turn this on in my script? Well, the easy way is just to, at the top of my script, set debug preference equal to continue. By setting this in my script, I'm only changing it for this script. Once the script finishes, it'll go back to the default of silently continue, which is still defined that way in my shell. So now when I go to run this, there's the name of my script. Let's provide it with the computer name parameter. You can see that my debug output shows up. Now once you've finally finished debugging your script, you almost invariably want to take all these out because you don't want it to just continually pollute your script's output. What a lot of folks will do is comment those lines out or even go through and just completely delete them, but you don't need to do that. Just remove that line. Now that I'm no longer setting the debug preference to continue, it will remain at the shell level value of silently continue, and that suppresses the output. So now when I run it, my debug output isn't there anymore. If I ever modify this script or run into a condition where I need to debug it again, all I have to do is put that line right back in, and I'm back in debugging mode. <laughs>